Yes, yes, yes. Shalom Rastafari. This is Yadon. Yadon Ras Ayadonis Tafari L-O-J. The line of Judah Society of His Majesty. Here, here, here. Re-education. Do nowadays Rastafari, do I and I of this generation need re-education? Yes. I'll ask it and answer. We need re-education. Too much hearsay, heresies. You know, false, fake information, disinformation going around. And it's being uttered by ones and ones who say that they are Rastafari. Right? Rastafari. And this is, this is for the whole Beta Rastafari. Beta, the house of Rastafari. And I and I of the LOJ, the line of Judah, is saying that this is the time. This is the time. We are the people. I and I is the generation that needs re-education to get to the roots of Rastafari. I don't even know where to even begin. <laughs> Right, to kind of demonstrate, you know, all the disinformation, right, that is being put out, right? Ones are talking about, well, the Bible, you know, it's the Bible that conquered, right, Ethiopia. What? As a Rastafari, right? Rastafari, that's the name of Kedamawi Hala Selassie. So if they are Rastafari, right, then it's his namesake, right? That means he is the head. Right, and we are the members of the body. But as it says in the word, you know, it's better to enter into the kingdom, you know, lame, right, than have your full, your whole body thrown. <laughs> you know what I mean? Into Gehinom, right? Yeah, people don't think that those are real places or states of, of, of mind and being. In fact, you know, hell. They say hell is a consciousness. Well, we got to get out of this hell, this hell of this disinformation of this present generation, right? And we're not saying all, not all, not all, not all, but, you know, we heard a couple of things said, right, historically wrong, right? Even concerning when Christianity, so to speak, you know, when Ethiopia and the whole Christian connection, it seemed like ones and ones talking about Yakuno Amlak, but that's not, that was in 300 something, that was in the fourth century, that was Azana. Others, when they talk about Azana, they try to forget about the Ethiopian official that Hala Selassie speaks about, right? So I'm like, where are they getting the teaching from? They're getting the teaching from men and people, right? They're holding the doctrines of men. Right, men and people, Rasta men, Rasta people, elders or one, ones and ones who are held in high regard and who might have actually accomplished certain things that are noteworthy. But it's the disinformation. It's that open correction is better than secret affection or open rebuke is better than secret love. So Rastafari needs re-education. We'll call this one here re-education. Rastafari needs. Why Rastafari needs re-education? Because of all the hearsay and disinformation, right? We should be of one voice. I don't mean we're going to say exactly verbatim the same thing, but if we're pointing to an area of history, historical fact, we should be pointing to historical fact, right? It's like a lot of ones want to be gods and goddesses, right? But they're not being good sons and daughters. You know what I'm saying? First, you have to be a son or a daughter before you can be my brother or sister. Does that make sense? Doesn't that make sense that you first have to be a son or, or a daughter? See, most of the times we are, you know, calling ones and ones our brother. But we're not asking, well, who is your father? Who is your father? Is it the father of truth or is it the father of lies? Who, who is your father? And what about your mother? Are you, are you like, you know, my half-brother <laughs> or my half-sister? You know, you bring me my color, but you're not my kind. Right? You may be my, 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 my skin, <laughs> you know, may have my, you know, my skin, um, you know, but you're not my kin. <laughs> In other words, now, now we said that generally speaking, just to the general black, as Ayabingi, Nayabingi, and the elders taught I, deaf to black and white down press is non-partial. Now, Nyabingi, yes, that's a queen over in Uganda, Africa. There's a whole history behind that. And it's interesting how that also kind of have, have come into Rastafari. And a lot of Rastafari think, well, that right there is foundational Rastafari. When foundational Rastafari is the Ras Tafari Kedamawi Hala Selassie. One talking about, well, this one is the first Rasta and that one's the first Rasta. Well, maybe they were the first abbreviation. Of Rastafari, but the first Rastafari is Kedamawi Hala Selassie. You see, the truth is in the fence, but it's not a sin. Some, some are offended by that right there. 
right? Because it's, it's so simple for, for you to understand, right? That if I say I'm a Christian, right? Just say if I'm saying I'm a Christian, right? And we know Jesus Christ, right? Just according to what we hear, right? And the Bible and all that. But I'm talking some things that are totally opposite of anything that is written, <laughs> Right? <laughs> Anything that is written. Now, the teaching of the King of Kings is, is not anti Bible. So, I wonder where, where all this anti Bibleism and schism coming from. Now, we try to clarify for ones and ones and say, okay, the King James Bible, okay, don't come to Africa, no proselytization of the King James Bible. Don't bring white Christianity in Africa. Okay, that makes a lot of sense right there. Right? Give us the teaching of His Majesty, not the teaching of your mansions. Not the teaching of your denominations first, but it's the teaching of his, every mansion of Rastafari, whatever big or small or historically, you know, way, way back there or even more recent, right? Like LOJ, right? Should have a point of reference to the teaching of his majesty, right? And now, check it out now. Now we're living in a time where we have, you know, the information superhighway. I could go to Daniel's prophecy, but if I go to Daniel's prophecy, right, and show you that there, some, some bloke or joke that want to call himself Rasta and say, oh, he went to the Bible. Well, why, why you call yourself Rasta? It might be back in the days, there were many guys running around that were saying they were Rasta, they were dread, they were revolutionary. Then when you start to talk about Hala Selassie, it's like they were dumb deaf, <laughs> It is like they were dumb and deaf, right? And of course, they were blind to Kadamawi Hala Selassie. They, were, they didn't see. They were about some revolution. Even one man had told me, you know, this brother had a lot of good information. Like, you know, he was into, like, the documentation, right? And there were some rare documents that I got to see that he had. And I remember I came forward to him again and started to reason with him about certain things concerning Hala Selassie. And he, he had to put me straight that he is Rasta, but not... Like Hala Selassie Rasta. I said, well, I said, what the hell is this? <laughs> I said, oh, what, 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 what is this? Right? But like it says, not all who are of Israel are Israel. Not all who are of Rastafari are Rastafari. You see, do, do, you, do you hear? You hear, hear, hear? <laughs> so we need re-education, right? Re-education. Give us a teaching of his majesty. So all these, all these um, contradictory and counterfeit Right, philosophies and ideologies where some mind of mind are trying to big up their particular order or their particular mansion, right? And this is where we have to just be blunt and live and direct that you know they're dealing with some man made Rastafari, they were made Rastafari by a man, right? But not by the man, the Rastafari. Some are thinking that Rastafari begins in Jamaica, Rastafari don't begin in Jamaica, Rastafari. Right, was born, right, to Farai, that man child was born in Ethiopia. I, I need to go to the Bible again. It's like the lightning from the east to the west, right? So, yeah, Jamaica became a lighthouse among those called and chosen and faithful of that early, we could say that first generation. But we know how it was in Christianity, right? We know how it was in Christianity or, or among the Nazarenes. Right? Remember the first century, there was the disciples, right? Disciples graduated, became apostles. They went forward, a lot of them went through different martyrdom, and then we get the early church, right? And then a little bit later on, we get the hijacked. It gets, it gets hijacked later on, right? Roughly around, you know, the times of, um, roughly around the times of the, uh, I would say the 500, around, around the year 500, because this is when the Vaticonians, Right? This is when the, the Nicolaitanes took over the black, the holy black Roman Catholic Church. Oh, you didn't know that the Roman Catholic Church was black, really. Mm, you see, that shows you you're not at the roots. Right? We're talking about roots, right? The roots, right? And the roots are deep here, right? This is what we spend our time studying. But a lot of ones are listening to hearsay, right? And heresy, right? So they get some hearsay. Right? And they say, oh, Ethiopia was conquered by the Bible, not conquered by the sword. When this happened? Well, you know, when Frumentius, you know, came forward and, and, and he forced Ethiopia, right? The king of Ethiopia didn't even get the king right, right? Didn't even get the king right. I'm going to follow up on it in the next vlog. It's going to be a little short vlog right here just to point out the campaign for re-education.
right? I'm talking about re-education, the education concerning Rastafari, concerning the roots of Rastafari. I put this book up right here. It's, it's little, but it's talua, as some would say. Tinish gin, tilik, tilik, no, right? Tinish, small gin, but tilik, tilik is very important. It's very big, but in the context, in the spirit of the word, not the letter, right? It's very important. This particular document is very, very important because I get to find out my, I thought at, at one time, most of the Rastafari that I and I right, encountered had this basic knowledge. Maybe not all the details, but they understood the basic knowledge that's contained in here. Right? Now there's a lot of guys running around. I guess they're getting their information from social media. You know what I mean? And just anywhere. They're eating off of any plate. You know what I mean? That's what happens. You know, somebody, you invite them to dinner at your house. Before they get there, they go and get a bunch of fast food, right? Then when they finally sit down at your table when they eat, they're like throwing up and stuff. They, and, they, and now they're blaming your food when they barely even ate your food, <laughs> right? It's all that junk you've been eating. It's junk food. So there's a lot of junk, junk roster ideologies floating out there that has nothing to do with his Imperial Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie. They don't even thank LOJ for putting them up on the Kadamawi. They don't even thank LOJ for putting them up on the Kadamawi, right? Or I and I, Rasa Adonis. No, I guess because I'm not Jamaican, right? Well, black American Rastafari, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this. Because here we're in this North Country right here, we need to build this. This campaign, this educational campaign to get into the basics. Because if you don't understand the basics, I don't want to hear your mystic stuff. Your mystic stuff is a mistake. Even one man, we heard him quote the Bible on something and it was like, oh my, my goodness. It would have been better just to go to the Bible. But then at the, out of his next mouth, and here's what you hear some slick guys doing. They'd be like, we need to put away the Bible. But then you listen to them at length and it's like they are trying to be the Bible. You get it? Right? They're putting away. Why right? the true black messiah, the true anointed upon the throne of King David, and they're calling other folks Christ this and Christ that. I guess this is where the crisis is coming from because they don't really know who Christ is, why right? who Christ is. So re-education, education is the key, right? Education is the key. Brothers and sisters, let me say this too. I thought that more Rastafari would be really interested in learning them hard, especially from one of their own. I, I really would have thought so. And give thanks to those who, who have proven that, yes, there is the called, chosen, and faithful, right, who are studying and growing in grace and the knowledge. To talk about the Ethiopians were conquered by the Bible, and according to them, it occurred sometime around maybe the fourth century. One guy, I don't know, he, he quoted the fourth century events, but then he confounded it with what happened in the 13th century. So he mixed up what happened around 330 something um, AD with what happened with the restoration of Solomonic dynasty around 1270 AD. He confused Yakuno Amlak with Azana. Right? And I said, oh, this is the same guy that was talking about, you know, how, um, you know, not to bring the Bible. I think um, Prince Charles Edward Emmanuel, you know, job bless his soul, you know, said, um, you know, don't bring the Bible into Africa. Now, on a certain level, I, 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 could, I get it. I get it. In other words, we, we, we're going to articulate a little more clear. Right. Don't bring white Christianity. How's that? Don't bring white Christianity into Africa. Right, you know, or your white Christian, your 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 Anglo American Protestant, you know, isms and schisms, right, into Ethiopia, right, or bring it with you, right. See, we're here in this wilderness of North America, like the Israelites were in the wilderness for a purpose. Right? You know what that purpose is? Most men normally read and study the Bible. Come on now. And only you read and study the Bibles if you've LOJ and with discipleship studies. We really get into the Bible. We really understand the context of things. A lot of you guys are being fooled by a man taking a quote here, right? And then he finesses the quote. He takes this quote and he finesses it, right? He spins it around. And before you know it, he'll take this quote to say that he is God, right? And therefore, you need to worship. You, you, you see the trick, right? The trick. You know, that's how they catch ones up into these. See, a cult is abbreviation of culture. They're taking shortcuts, right? But shortcuts make deep scars, right? That's why we got to speak out on the re-education campaign, re-education of Rastafari, the roots of Rastafari, why re-education is important. Because this generation does not have the benefit of, say, I and I generation and even a generation before, where there was a more faithful transmission of the truth. 
Now a lot of things just fly in and you'd be like, where, where, you know, where did this come from? This don't make no kind of sense. And then ones and ones talk about, well, there's Rastafari that's not even speaking to Rastafari. So if you're of Bingi, you don't speak to Bobo, you don't speak to 12 tribes, you don't speak to the Orthodox because you, you're not with the Tawahedo or like the Ethiopian, you know, Orthodox Christians or the Orthodox Rastafari, right? Because you Bobo Shanti and you Bobo Shanti, you say that Prince Charles Edward Emmanuel, he is the Black Christ and His Majesty is like God and, and then Marcus Garvey is like the prophet and therefore... What about the teaching of His Majesty concerning the Trinity? What about the roots of Rastafari? All right. you, you just dismiss that? All right. You dismiss that? This is what His Majesty said about organized and centralized. And he said that allegedly to our Jamaican Rastafari brothers, organized and centralized. This is why Bob Marley, he got a lot of hate for that when he said Jamaica, nice little island. You know, because a lot of our brothers are very nationalistic. I don't know which one they are more. I don't know if they're more Jamaican or more Rastafari. Some guy would tell you, well, it's the same thing. You see, but that's the problem there. That's the very problem there. Right? You see, one is a call out. Oh, let's speak about the call for a moment. Right? Have ones and ones really been called? Right? Or, or who called you? You know what I mean? Who called you? Or, or, or your friend became Rasta and you became Rasta? Now, listen, I don't know. I don't know. Right? You got to know. Right? You got to be honest as above all else. Be true to thine own self. Right? But now, when we are calling ourselves by his name, by his namesake, right? After you first be true to your own self, right? And know your spirit, right? Then be true to Rastafari. And be true to the teaching of Rastafari. But wait. How can you be true to the teaching of Rastafari if you never got the learning of Rastafari? So we're talking about re-education. Maybe we'll maybe update this one to say the learning. Learning the roots of Rastafari. We need to learn the roots of Rastafari. All right? And this is a very good book right here. We're going to put this book up front and center. Hopefully ones can find this. Maybe ones and ones can do a PDF and we can have a PDF in circulation. Anybody who does a PDF just send it to LOJS.org We'll put it on the platform because there's a lot of basic basic information. Some basic information. This, this volume right here, I must admit, is very, very accurate. But we're going to touch on some specifics, you know, concerning what was the I. Jemines said and I think one of his guests uh, Hannibal, at least some of the points raised, right? Points raised. And we're going to do this uh, previous before, but upon hearing that from one who seems to have said some things that more or less seem to make sense. But like I said, I'm not Boba Shanti. I, I will have to ask some of my Boba Shanti brothers and sisters to give me some insight on that. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my, this particular video that we'll give a little commentary on. I'm going to share this particular video with some, I'll say, trusted Bobo Shanti. I mean, ones who are anointed. Right? I don't know if one's all over is what I'm saying. Bobo Shanti man who really went through the order, right? when the order was in that full effect, was anointed and given their mission. But you got a lot of guys who may have come along and just wrap up a turban and they just kind of fellowship. Not saying that ones and ones are wrong or fake or whatever else by doing that, but you have to understand that if there's an order, right, and the order is not in effect, then it's out of order. So here, 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 we're of the royal order, LOJ Society, the line of Judah, of the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, after the order of Melchizedek, of Melchizedek.